Hey there gamers, in today's video I'm going to show how to install the drivers for an external GPU uh, that is AMD based. So the ones that I'm specifically showing are going to be for the GPD G1, um, the One X Player EGP, uh, X GPU, the original one, and the one I've currently got plugged in on the side here, and this is the One X GPU 2. So I'll show the process on the One X GPU 2 and I'll just explain any differences uh, the, f where it applies to the GPD G1 or the One X GPU. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is power on your eGPU and plug it into your Thunderbolt 4 ports, one of them. Now I seem to have a problem initially where I plugged it into my left hand port and it, it just kept dropping it and then uh, reacquiring it. Um, now, I then plugged it into the right-hand port and had a similar issue, but eventually it sort of settled and um, then shows up in my device manager. So if I hold on, uh, so right-click on here, and if I go up to, in the list of options, device manager, and display adapters, if I do a little zoom, hopefully we can see that a bit better. You can see that what we've got here is an AMD Radeon RX 7800M. Now weirdly, I was expecting this did initially have Microsoft Display Adapter, but it's picking up the AMD Radeon RX 7800M automatically. So that, that has thrown me a bit. But let's go through the process. Say you had the Microsoft Display Adapter. I'll go through the process of downloading the latest drivers um, and installing them and getting the uh, AMD Adrenaline software running. So let's close this and we'll fire up the internet and we'll just do a quick Google for latest AMD drivers. It should be the first result for you. I'm, I say Google, I'm using um, Bing and I'll post this URL in the description for this video afterwards. But we scroll down and don't do download Windows drivers. Come for search or browse drivers and support by product. And in here, if you have the GPD G1 or the One X GPU, the original one, you want to type in RX76 Oh, RX 7600M space XT. And you'll see there's an option there. So if I hit enter um, and then hit search. Okay, it's not doing it. Let's try again. Okay, so here you can see that came up as a, an autocomplete. So if I hit enter on that, and that'll take us through um, to the next screen where you would click on Windows 11 64-bit edition, come down to the bottom and make sure you basically pick up this file here, um, which is, we've got an optional one, 25.4.1. And then we've got a WHQL recommended. So I'd go for the WHQL recommended first off. Um, it is less recent than this one. So if you want the most recent one, pick the optional. But I believe it might have problems with Last of Us Part 2. So if you want to play that game, pick the previous one. And then you would just click the download button. So that's for the 7600M. So that's the GPD G1 and 1X GPU original. Now I'm going to now type in RX 7800M. Um, okay, so let's see what that is. Yep, yeah, so it's one of the auto, <coughs> excuse me, it's one of the autocomplete options. So let's hit search and again we're taken through to the next screen. We'll do Windows 11 64-bit edition. And we can see we've got the two options here. And I'm going to go ahead and download um, 
the WHQL recommended edition. I'll just zoom in on that if that helps. And that starts downloading. So what I may do is, is edit the video and just uh, save you having to watch it download. Okay, so that's finally downloaded. So let's open that file. And yes, we do. Okay, so this will ex extract the XE and it will try and do an install and I'm expecting a, s a software failure. Ah, now I'm so used to installing on other AMD devices that I would normally get a software failure. But here it's come up that we can just install this. So I'm just going to do the express install. And I shall edit the video again to so you don't have to watch the ins entire installation. So there it seems to have completed. Now towards the end of this installation um, a little tray icon popped up saying about XConnect technology and that's perfect that's when it detects that we've got an eGPU installed. So I'm going to close this now and let's see if we can have a look at the AMD Adrenaline. Adrenaline. I nearly said that right. Okay. Oh, there we are. So it started. I always do quick setup. Um, I just do default. Let's start gaming. And you can see we're on, well, I'll move it closer 25.3.1. That's the version we downloaded. Um, can, has it picked up any of my games yet? It has, so let's see. Shall we see if this version works with Last of Us Part 2? Yep, let's give that a go. Let's have a look at options. Go for display. And I was trying to see if it listed the GPU or if you could choose it. I know on Last of Us Part 1 you could do that. Let's try high, you know, ultra quality. And graphics wise, I'm on the high setting. Oh, why not? Let's hit very high. Okay, so let's see. Now bear in mind that I'm playing this on the device's screen and this is the least efficient way to play. Um, it would be better if this, if, if this screen was turned off and we were playing through an external monitor because essentially what's happening is we're, we're having two-way traffic along this USB 4 cable 
which only has a max of 40 gigabits per second, I think it is. So um, we would see more performance if we were playing, to, uh, playing this through an external monitor. So let's just have a little run around. We're on really high settings and getting a stable 46 to 48. Nice reflections. I'm not sure how much we can see there. Uh, up to 63, down to 55. So the, the fr frame pacing's are all over the place. But that VRR, well, it's not working on anything under 48, but uh, when it's above that, it's very smooth. So this is without any FSR, not FSR, this is without any um, frame gen at all. But um, what if I just drop down the graphics from very high to high? Now, obviously, this isn't a gameplay video. And Last of Us Part 2 plays really well on this device, but um, not with this higher frame rate on this high uh, graphical setting. So anyway, that's it. That's how to get your uh, external AMD-based eGPU working with the MSI Claw. It was actually quite easy. I was um, uh, expecting a lot more difficulty, but I guess just having the difference between one graphic card being Intel and one being AMD just makes things a heck of a lot easier. And you'd probably see um, a sim similar ease if you had a NVIDIA uh, graphics card with an external uh, eGPU dock. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.